an object is moving around the circle of radius r, and the object has constant speed v, angular velocity omega, period t, and frequency f. The object is located at this xy point, where x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. With theta equals omega t, the location of the object is given by x equals r cosine theta equals r cosine omega t and y equals r sine theta equals r sine omega t. The time derivatives of these give velocity components. We have v sub x equals minus r omega sine omega t because the derivative of the cosine is a minus sine and the derivative of the inside brings an omega outside. The time derivative of y gives v sub y and we have r omega cosine omega t because this sine turns into a cosine. The time derivative of the velocity gives the acceleration. a sub x is minus r omega squared cosine omega t because this sine turns back into a cosine and the derivative of the inside brings out another omega. And we have a sub y equals minus r omega squared sine omega t. The position vector r has this x and y component. We see that the acceleration vector a is a multiple omega squared times the position vector r. The minus sign means that the acceleration vector is pointing inward toward the center of the circular motion. Because the position vector r is pointing radially outward, the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is found from the square root of a sub x squared plus a sub y squared. We can factor out the r omega squared, and under the square root, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1, so the magnitude of the acceleration vector is r omega squared. We also have this x component of velocity divided by this y component of velocity is the negative of y divided by x.